What is up everybody, welcome back, and before we get into the video, I just want to quickly say I'm sorry it's been three weeks since my last upload. I ultimately went on a camping trip, which prolonged the video by a week, but when I got back, I fell ill with COVID, which gave me a really bad headache, which made being on my computer kind of a miserable experience. But I am feeling better now, so once again, sorry for the delay. Without any further ado, let's get into the video. Good morning everybody, Quaduro day three, day two that I filmed, because I don't film this Friday. And we are here for Sunday. Loud Ferraris. Anyway, my session starts here in about 40 minutes or so. Uh, I got here a little bit earlier. I've been just prepping a little bit. Car's already on jack stands. We gotta get tires rotated. Don't know what's gonna go where yet. Might not even change depending on how good the tire wear is. But I'm definitely gonna need to fill it up because we're gonna be running an east track today, which is that track right there. We're also running west, but we're running east first. East is the one that I've got fuel starvation issues on out of the two today. And I shouldn't have any fuel starvation issues on west track. So hopefully we won't be having fuel starvation issues after this afternoon because, well, west track I guess just doesn't have any corners that my car hates. Spoiler alert, I was wrong. I should probably get this ready so at least it's on the ground when it's time to get out there because I don't want to miss my first session. This is the only way to use this stupid thing. Zip tie. Otherwise, it's just it's just not possible. So I can see the tires just fine underneath, as you can see. I mean, you know, they're worn out, but these are used tires. Um, the front ones and the rear ones are looking pretty similar, but after the first session, it's very likely I should probably rotate these. If not, definitely gonna have to do it over lunch. Um, but I think I'm gonna keep all the tires in their current position just for this session, uh, at least, and then I'm probably gonna switch the rears and fronts around. Making sure I get to grid though is going to be the best way to ensure that I get a good track position. So that second session, I'm not stuck behind any slower drivers ruining my chances. My fuel starve on East Track hasn't been terrible, but last weekend, but last time it was pretty bad. So we're gonna try and keep it somewhere around this. I think I'm gonna give it about two or three gallons of fuel so I can at least get in a really good lap in case it starts fuel starving in a half a tank. Typically I try and put four or five gallons in before my next session, but I'm not gonna be doing that this session. But good news, good news, good news, let me show you. So I took some advice from the top TT4 guy out here. 
TJ, and I got some recommendations on what I could do to drive faster overall. Uh, so I applied some of them this last session, and I did a 145 at 752. Now I don't remember exactly what my fastest lap before that was, but that is faster than the fastest time I have run before, which I think was a low 146. Once again, I have decided we're not going to go ahead and rotate the tires. We're going to leave the tires as they are, just in their current position. Then on launch, we're just going to do a rotation uh, because they're still in good shape. We're about 30 minutes behind on our session. But I do have to start getting ready. I did go do my HPD1 and they didn't need me again. That was last Sunday too, same thing happened. So if my student doesn't show for my second session, I'll start doing some HPD E23 instructing, uh, do some check rides there. The sessions start right after I get off track. So I'm gonna have to be jumping around. I do need to get the fuel first. So that's gonna be my primary goal is to get out there. And then that will conclude the first half of our sessions that we need to do today. Like I said, yesterday, we need to run both configurations of the track in order to get points. Uh, if you miss one of the configurations, you're out of it. So, it's actually been a little bit. Ran my second session, also on East Track. Currently, I'm packing up my car, getting it ready to go, because I'm gonna be trading cars here. I'm gonna have this car lent to the person who's lending me a truck so I can tow that trailer. I obviously can't be using this thing for towing, so I am borrowing a vehicle, swapping that back around. I went out there expecting it to do better because it's second session. We always do better second session. I did worse. I did a 146.236, which is about five, six tenths slower than I ran the session before. So that's a little unfortunate. Felt really greasy and I didn't feel like I was running that fast. When I got off track, I found my tire pressures were considerably more than they should have been. Anyway, my GoPros need to be charged. I need to rotate tires. I already had lunch, so that's taken care of. And I need to get a few more things packed into that so that it can just get out of here, the things I don't need. But once I've done rotating tires, then I can get rid of my impact gun. That way I don't have to trek them home. Rotate done. I did a cross rotate where that tire and that tire changed and then that tire and that tire changed. Um, the only thing I need to do still in order to make sure I'm ready for my next session, which is about to happen soon, is I need to check my GoPro batteries. 24%, so that's not going to make it. And I don't even need to check this one because I already know that's not going to make it. So I'm going to change out my GoPros and I'm not going to get any fuel coming into West because like I said, West we shouldn't uh, fuel starve on. So it's really just going to be a tire rotation and uh, go for a battery change. And then hopefully we can run a time that's fast enough to keep us where we are. Because last year we lost on Sunday on one track and one on the other, but we lost overall. So hopefully we don't have a repeat of last year's events.
guys, hopefully the wind isn't too bad for you. I've been running around trying to get things done since it's the end of the day. Now, that being said, we've got the truck hooked up to the U-Haul trailer here, ready to load the car onto the trailer. I'm currently unsure if I'm gonna run my fourth session. I'm getting fuel starved in turn nine. Never gotten fuel starved on less before. Uh, and there's no fuel left, like here. Like I can't buy more fuel. So uh, I don't I don't know if it's worth going out again because I'm not gonna run a faster time. But speaking of times, I ran a faster time. I bought a new record on West Track because well, I've missed every West Track run that we've done this year because the two months that was West Track was the two months I didn't have a car. My new fastest time is a 144.170 with my previous fastest time being a 146.2 something. I broke my record every weekend this year except for last weekend on a track and then we ran all four configurations of the track this weekend and I broke all four of those records in that time and taking second place today. I'll let you guys know what I get later because we're gonna actually have to wrap this up tonight at my garage. The reason for that being is I should have left with the car loaded on the trailer right now to get this trailer back on time. It's, it's a bit of a rush and my next session is um, gonna make that even harder, especially with my instructing because they did pick me up as an instructor or a need for an instructor. The plan is take the car out for a few laps most likely, bring it back, get it loaded on the trailer very quickly. Then I'm gonna go out with my student for my instructing session. Then I can very potentially get out here at least at a semi-decent time. Unfortunately, still later than I really should be getting out of here. starving in turn nine I thought if I could get a good turn nine I carry the lap and uh, see if I could do better but the fuel starving turn nine was so bad there that you know I'm getting fuel starved twice the lap I'm staying ahead of him for most of the lap but there's no way I'm running a faster time with this not in not in fuel starved like this so I don't know if I ran faster than I did on my first session on the west all I know is that I can't let him run faster than me, and unfortunately, that's the best I can do, guys. So, feels what causes me to lose this week, then feels what causes me to lose. And there we have it, car is back in the garage for the rest of the winter, and yes, um, there's an airplane in here, so it's taking up quite a bit of space, which, that's irrelevant, I'll explain all that at some other point. But yes, that is tragically the end of our season. I'm sorry that last little bit of the video, like, the West Track side was rushed, because I was, I was rushed that day, I was kind of all over the place trying to get um, the trailer back to U-Haul on time, but... We got third place on Saturday, which is good. And then I finally also got a second place on Sunday, which feels amazing. And yes, I was hoping for the same thing that I had last year where it was second Saturday and then third um, Sunday. Um, but it actually works out because now on my trophy shelf, as you go across, it starts with a second place and it ends with a second place with a bunch of third places in between. Still have yet to secure myself a first place medal, but hopefully next year that will change. All in guys, the car did amazing this year. I'm glad that we got all the work done to it that we could for the races and I am glad that it handled the way that it did. It drives really nice and I'm really happy with it. Wasn't exactly the year that I wanted it to be. I did want to do a lot better this year. I did ultimately get third place overall once again, 
which I don't have a trophy for that yet, but we'll have some ceremony and everything later in the year. But yes, that wraps up racing for the year, guys. Doesn't mean my videos are gonna stop. I've still got plenty of stuff that I need to do over the winter, uh, other types of videos, sim racing. I've got something coming up next week's video that's gonna be something a little bit different that I've been waiting to do and uh, waiting to show you guys. Unfortunately, we are getting snow, so my year is not gonna be doing a whole heck of a lot outside past the stuff in the garage which includes rebuilding this transmission here because uh, I need that Yukon next year. Without it, I'm kind of screwed. I'm not going to be able to keep doing what I've been doing before. I'm not going to have anyone's trucks to borrow and uh, really don't like the U-Haul route. Anyway, guys, I think that just about does it for this video. It has been quite a year of racing. Thank you guys all for being there. We've got more coming up in, say, five months. That's when we're going to get back out there on track. I think that's about how long our lapse is. Yeah, about five months is going to be our lapse. We'll be back out there in March. So... Let's try and get this ready before then. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.